Hey, I wanted to show you a program that I wrote. It's called Automagical and it's like if you had a simultaneous translator but for a programming language. And specifically Automagical works with Objective-C on the left and as you're done typing it translates it into the equivalent of C sharp on the right. So it's perfect if you have some iOS or Mac code base that you need to port to Windows. A lot of our customers also use it to get cross-platform with uh, the mono.net implementation. As you can see, it works for basic types and since Objective-C and c -sharp are both based on C, some things obviously will stay the same, but others, for example here the for in loop, will get translated into the equivalent syntax. And where, where things really start to take off is by translating the Objective syntax. So if I start to define a new interface here, Automagical will change it into a class definition in C-sharp. We can add variables and know that in Objective-C they appear as protected by default. So if we add the public or private directives here and decide this will change appropriately in C-sharp. Now when it comes to methods, Objective-C you know, uses the Smalltalk syntax with name angling and this means that the function name is intertwined with the names of parameters. So what we need to do is to create the C-sharp form of the name is to group the name parts together uh, while putting the parameter into brackets. And so when we have a method like this, when we send a message to the object, this will get translated into a method call on the other side. We support many different use cases with properties. Uh, by default, they're translated into automatic properties in C-sharp. But if you got some older code that still explicitly synthesizes the getters and setters, we will act accordingly. We'll detect if you're using the backing field anywhere so that the property getters and setters reflect that. And automatically we translate exception throwing, variadic methods, and it very nicely handles function pointers and blocks. Now these are called delegates in C sharp, and the equivalent of block is an anonymous delegate. So .NET provides the action and func generic types which directly correspond to function pointer types of void and non-void functions in Objective-C. So we use those to make the blocks translation work nicely. Now C-sharp also doesn't have many of the C preprocessor directives, so Automagical will help with some. For example, defines will be collected into a static global subject, so they can be accessed from anywhere. Uh, and C enums are changed to C sharp enums, and if you follow the convention of prefixing the enum values with the enum name, it detects that as well. And later on, when you use one of the defines or enum values in code, they will be substituted with the appropriate call and even cast into ints if you use them as array accessors. We also handle multi dimensional arrays, and we will substitute the math functions with calls to the .NET math class, and we are unrolling the define macros. Now for the defines, however, this might not always be the best solution since the point of a macro is to write the code only once so it's easy to change later on. So in this case, sometimes it's going to be better if you transform your input beforehand and change the macro into a C function. And if you do that, automatically we then take the function and rather create it into a reusable class method. So in general, automatical is, not, is just a tool that only aids the programmer, you know, but it cannot replace it because it only translates syntax, but it has no clue of what the code actually does. I mean, it understands how equivalent things must be written in Objective-C and C-sharp, meaning that it will understand the syntax and will change it from first to second, but it doesn't understand what the functions that you're calling are supposed to do. So for example, it doesn't know what UI kit is and it will only change the syntax of the calls, but it doesn't really care if that object on the .NET side is not, doesn't exist and the functionality is missing. So you're, you're left to deal with this according to your porting desires. Now to wrap things up, Automagical still is a serious porting tool. I wrote it to translate two of our games and since showing it here on YouTube, a lot of people asked to me to use it as well. So we opened up a beta version and with over a hundred of external customers, I refined the software to handle a lot more use cases uh, and also give you a nice support to work with an existing code base. So in this case, you will create a new project and define the input and output source folders and it's advised that you may create a copy of the of your sor source code because often times you will need to change something in the input to suit the translation results. Um, you know, while Automagical tries to address as much as possible of the most common use cases, 
Of course, there are bound to be things that we haven't encountered yet or some stuff that just don't doesn't have a clear C-sharp equivalent. But a lot of features in Automagic su were suggested by users, so feel free to email us with your suggestions. Well, thanks for checking out Automagical and I hope it will save some trouble in your porting efforts as much as it has for our own games. Uh, and thanks for your support and cheers!